I'm now walking up to the barn here. I'm going to try and uh, do a demonstration of the uh, Magnavox console phonograph that's in here. Here's a Hammond M2 that I just got a little bit ago. Got it a couple weeks ago. And it's painted in the kind of this uh, dark green color, which I'm sure is not... Well, I don't know if it would have been a factory color or not. I don't think so. I haven't tried this yet. I, I just kind of gotten inundated with, with discoveries of organs in the past couple weeks, so, and pianos too. So I need to make some space for them here in the barn. Here's an M3 that's seen some better days. I will get it. Try and get it fixed up. It had a totally fried power supply. Go in here and try and do a test of the Magnavox. Here's the Magnavox console cube. And this is, I think, a lot like the one a dumb musician or Vinyl Man 86 has. It's pretty dusty. It's been in storage in the barn for a long time. But I'll get it cleaned up here eventually. The inside has stayed pretty clean. It's It's got another record changer retrofitted into it, a later Magnavox. It's also got a pilot lamp and on-off switch in it. Amp has been modified. It's really filthy dirty in here. I'll we'll get it vacuumed out, but I, I don't have the vacuum off here right now. It's got an isolation transformer retrofitted on it. It's got a new audio transformer. It's got a lot of... It's been retrofitted a lot. Now, I think I did this a long time ago. I think South JK and I worked on this like eight years ago or something. But uh, I used a lot of black tape. I don't I don't use black tape anymore really. I use heat shrink tubing. It comes out a lot better. Let's plug this thing in and, and see if it works. It should have new capacitors in it. It does work, although the phono partridge leads are kind of intermittent. It needs a little more work on it. 